Hey Exploration Nation, today I'm at the location of an old abandoned school and it's been closed for a long, long time. As if you can see back in the background, it looks like that I am way, way out in the middle of nowhere in the woods. I'm actually not. I'm in a very urban area, uh, actually right off of a main highway that's not even... Uh, uh, 100 yards away it's more like about 50 yards from where I'm standing right here um, so uh, when the school was built it probably was out in the country uh, from the what's left of the architecture um, it looks like it was uh, built uh, many years ago and at some point it's burned down now I don't know if it was uh, a fire that uh, closed it to begin with or uh, if it was burned sometime after it closed I don't know um, I don't have any information about this school. If it was an elementary, um, middle, high school, I don't know. Um, all I know is it's an old school and that's it. Um, so it's been closed and abandoned long enough for uh, good-sized trees to grow up, as you can see. And so it's been closed for a few decades, evidently. So let's take a look and see what we can see on what's left. Now, as you can see, a pile of bricks, and this is a fairly decent sized school. As you can see the wall right down there, um, that way. And I don't know how far up to the left that goes in the woods. Uh, I will try to get through there. In this other section, I'll try to get on the way out. Now, walking on piles of bricks. Yeah, this is a another little excursion that probably has bad idea written all over it. Lots of old timbers here still with nails sticking out of them. Apparently it's just a right there. It's going through this. Now whenever it burned, it burned. And probably the back. Now, since the roads around here have undoubtedly changed, I'm just assuming that this was uh, towards the back. Uh, but, you know, roads change over time, and uh, so who knows? The front could have been over here. There could have been an old uh, drive going to the front of the school over here. Who knows? It doesn't look like it, but um, it would be very hard to tell. And I wish I could find some information on this as to uh, what school this was. That almost looks like a stage right up there. Now, I don't know what that is. Is there right on that? Let's take a look at that. Now I've got to get over there and see what exactly that is. I said this looked like a stage, but I don't know why something like that would be at, on a stage. And uh, that one window behind it would seem to indicate that it wasn't, that it was something else. Walking on this is like putting a puzzle together. Yeah, I think there's another way in here.
this is uh there's absolutely nothing to hold on to it's kind of like walking uh rocks across a good sized creek just about there I still have no idea now this was possibly a kiln yes I think that's what this is I think this is an old kiln there were schools that used to have their own kilns for firing uh, clay projects made by the students which this would seem to indicate this was probably an elementary school most of the projects at least when I grew up all of the projects that we made uh, where we worked with clay were in elementary school that was gone uh, before junior high school so that's what that's what this is going to be they um, had their own kiln which back when this school was built was a big deal school I went to didn't have a kiln we had to uh, take it to uh, the university nearby and use their kiln to fire them so that is really cool right there I'm glad I came over here steps right here this is what looks like an old uh, road over here <coughs> and if I had known where this came out a whole lot easier way of getting into this place and the way I came but that's part of exploring you always find the hardest way to get in and then you find some place some way that's ten times easier every time that looks like a structure of some kind right down there let's go take a look while we're out here That almost looks like an old uh, box for horseshoes right there. And another side of it right here. Before the tree grew up through it, that is. And there's the fence that went around the school right here. This is related to the school. It looks like it may be pieces off of it. And this is the old sign. Nope. I was hoping that yeah, may be. It still looks like it. it still looks like a uh, sign. If it was, it's not readable anymore. That's what that looks like. Oh well. And here's another one. I wish these were still readable. That's, they're not. Now here's that structure back there. It's not a structure, it's... It is a something. This might not have anything to do with the school at all. I don't know. Yeah, that's an old uh, modular uh, shower tub unit. And somebody's been back here camping at one point. 
so it doesn't have anything to do with school. And as usual, out here, out back, I find a commode. Always. I'll start using that as a hashtag in my videos. As I find commodes in the strangest places. Inside a building or something would be one thing, but just out laying in the woods or whatever. And here, it looks like maybe more makeshift of uh, makeshift box for horseshoes. And if this were an elementary school, this is nowhere near regulation, if that's what this is. From here to there would be about right for elementary kids. That'd be about all they could uh, muster. And I turn around and saw this back here. an old uh, stack of old windows. It's an old wooden wooden borders here. It may have been a little gardening project. That's what it looks like. It comes in crossways through there. Could have been. That was also something that was common at one time. I don't know if they still do things like that, but little gardening, landscaping projects. Uh, students would uh, uh, participate in planting flowers and things of that nature. Let me see if there is a better way to navigate through here. Might be. Well, it is six of one, a half dozen of the other. Let's just go for it. Well, it doesn't look like I get up through there, so. seen any playground equipment or anything like that so and yeah walking through this is another really awesome idea it's all high weeds on a hot summer day you know, guess what kind of wildlife likes that fortunately I haven't run across any wasn't a huge school uh, but it's uh it was pretty decent uh, particularly especially at the time it was out in the country so um, average size neighborhood type school it's a shame it burned i wish it could have seen it before it did so but again that may be it was closed to begin with. I mean, they just never rebuilt it here.
over here this will give you some idea as to how old the school is other than the old kiln over there they haven't put uh, kilns in schools in years as far as I know but you see the arch uh, arched way right there I would say this is at least 1950s maybe 1940s and if my guess is correct then at the time this was way out in the country I don't know what that is over there that might be the front of the school I'm guessing again this might have been the foyer right here you see once again the archway and arched windows I'd say this was the foyer right here come in right here and then step through here and the front offices were right in here and I was correct here are the steps and you can see the It's not a handrail, but that's what they used to put on either side of steps going into a school. I don't know if you need to see that through all the brush or not. Yeah, right there it goes. You see a little bit of it. Okay, since that is the front of it. Well, there's something else right over there. Uh, what's more of those uh, things that I thought were signs just stacked there? I wonder what those were. That's just way too many of them for to be signs or something. I don't know what they were using them for. Obviously something. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to build them. And there's more right over there. Well, it's been so long you can't tell where the parking lot really was it is so overgrown in so many years <clears throat> there you can get a long shot of the front of the school right there And back over here, that looks like the furnace. Looks like a, a belt driven blower over there. Motor on top was uh, drove the uh, squirrel cage down there below it. So it's got a little bit of age on it. But again, at the time, it was kind of a big deal. <laughs> the school I was in had radiator heat. Some of you will know what that is. And once in a while, one of us in the back would be uh, asked to uh, 
adjust it, turn the valve on it or on or off. And nowadays people would have a conniption at the idea of having a child that age uh, touch a radiator valve. But we all lived, none of us got burned. We knew what to touch and what not to touch. And it worked out well. We didn't have any air conditioning in the summer, so we stayed plenty warm in the winter and plenty warm in the summer, too. It was consistent anyway. And I don't know what that room over there was. Who knows? Maybe even been the principal's office, judging from the size of it, you know? I don't know. And kind of looking around, I think the school burned after it closed because uh, looking at some of the older trees, you can see burn marks on it, on that one. And uh, I've seen uh, burned places on some of these others, like that one right there. I didn't see it. Uh, right off hand, but you can see where it's burned uh, And there's several others in proximity to the building. So I think it was uh, here abandoned and closed uh, And then burned at some point after that which is too bad Well, that's a wrap for the old abandoned school what's left of it. I do appreciate you watching as always and this one was an adventure even though it's going to be probably a fairly short video, uh, nothing much left here. Uh, this was really something else to get back here and get through all the spiders and all the snakes. And well, some of y'all might be old enough to remember that song. Anyway, uh, it's not what it takes, that's for sure. So please like, share, and subscribe. I would seriously, seriously appreciate it. And I do really appreciate y'all watching and subscribing to the channel. And until next time. I will see you in the next video.